but that their toys were cool. Is you could put ooze into like yeah, the top of their heads right. and then like come out somewhere else yep. in their bodies. Because there's like Ninja Turtles was huge at the time. They've got a toxic waste backstory. I was like, Avenger does it. too. Hey, we can just make a bunch more of them. Yep. And well, we'll totally make a cartoon. It'll work. It I, we're, we're, we'll totally review Toxic Avenger number one. That's right. We point. do have to. Yeah, we do yes. have that. I, I do think it was funny. Like some of the characters is how they look different between the movie and the book. Yes, and we can but talk yes. about that. We'll do that when we get there. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I'm right. Sorry. So. Welcome to another edition of the Webcomic Beacon Presents First Issue. I'm Marcus. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Fess. He is. And this is Bloodshot Number One from Valiant Comics. Yay! Uh, right. I don't know if I need to clarify that this is Bloodshot Number One from Bloodshot. 2012, yeah. not the one from 1993. That's a slightly different one, yes. Yes. <laughs> Especially because you look at the cover, and unless Alex Ross was working for Valiant, and they changed their logo. It's not from '93. <laughs> uh, I this is this cover. And by the way, if you have not listened to our uh, our first issue review Exo of Exo Man of War, we talk about Valiant Comics more in there. So go ahead and listen to that one first. Yeah, if you're not familiar with them, if you are or don't care, just keep watching. Oh, re watch the video anyway. You should have watched that one first. Yeah, watch them both anyway. So, Bloodshot number one, this cover. One thing I thought that was interesting about this cover, I don't know why I thought this, mm -hmm. I was thinking that this was some sort of Japanese hero. That's right. Because <laughs> of the big giant yeah. red circle, God, yeah. and then the red circle over here, and it's bleeding. I, I, I started meeting thinking like the old flag, where it was like yeah. the beams out. And oh, the, the, the sunburst. And, yeah. I, and honestly, I did not see the little bit of the stars at the bottom. Ah. I just I just saw the red and white stripes oh, at the bottom. Oh, like I see. Yeah then, the looks, right. yeah, then it looks just like yep. the um, yeah. Japanese yeah. starburst. Yeah, with the, the which flag. Which, if, you, if he was Japanese, a uh, Japanese hero, that would have been... Totally awesome. It would still be, but still that's be not totally the case. Awesome. No, but it still would be totally awesome, even if it was like the red, you know, the, the red sun bleeding onto the American flag. Is oh, yeah, yeah. A little more, it'd be a different idea. But either way. Either way. Yeah. So, still, even with that, I'm not entirely sold on this cover. It's a little, uh, a little typical. It's not too unique. What do you guys think? It, it feels very static where, like we were saying in the EXO cover, there mm. was things going on. It's a battle. Definitely. Right. <laughs> it was something to look at. This is kind of, all right, yeah, that, it, that's who the guy is? Is okay. this a video game? No. You know? wait, it, it looks like a video game cover, right. which isn't always bad. Right. Now, right. the thing is, it gives you a very good idea of kind of what's going on thematically. Mm -hmm. You've got this guy. He's got two guns. He's The way his head is you know, kind of tapered down and looking towards you is meant to be a little more threatening. The idea is, and based with the blood pouring down to mm -hmm. the American flag, the, the image that I get from it is like, you know, mistreated uh, veteran out of that, which yep. as we, as it turns out, hmm. is quite very much the case. Right. And I like that a lot because it gives you an idea of what's going on. Like he's bleeding out from the heart onto the American flag. It's a very disillusioned sort of hmm. imagery. It reminds me very much of like things in the seventies, like you know, um, born in the USA, which yep. came to mind when I was <laughs> looking at this. But um, yeah, I happen to like it a lot simply because if you are into this sort of character type, like the gunslinger, essentially, this tells you that's what he is. Right. Exactly. You know, like if if you're looking for a little more information. You're not going to get a ton. I mean, you will if you understand kind of the thematics here. Mm -hmm. Like, because like, like when I first saw it, I didn't even notice that the blood was literally becoming the stripes. Mm. It took me a couple of looks. So if you don't notice that immediately, you just kind of think, oh, he's bleeding. Why is it such a perfect circle? What the hell? That looks odd. I don't know. Something in retrospect now what you're saying that yeah. you're, you had the imaginative of mistreated veteran. Yeah. I, I can't think of any other subtitle for this page other than bleeding for your country yes yes which as we will find out yeah, is right. very much what he does so um also opening up we uh the inside cover we got to like a little info page i'm liking these info pages me too it gives you a little bit of extraness but not about the story yeah and it's not necessary like right. like like for example i read the rexo man of war without reading that thing first yep. i got everything however if i wanted to know a little bit more about their cultures I could read that right, from right. cover, and you get a little more. And the same with Bloodshot. Like, and, I, and this I we get uh, uh, in information about the advanced nanite capabilities. Yeah, so, so you understand, okay, 
this is a technological based hero. He's not right. Wolverine. That's essentially what they're trying yeah, to get. Yeah, I mean, across. even if you didn't read this page, I guess you might not think technological as you're reading. Not this. necessarily, but they do not explain that. But, but they yeah. do explain it as it goes. Um, so we start off with uh, uh, undisclosed location uh, in Nevada, Afghanistan. And- no, in Nevada. Oh, oh here, in Nevada. Oh, they up here. And uh, this is kind of clearly commentary on drone warfare. Oh, yeah. In, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole thing the is a commentary and, on yeah, in the, the uh, in the 2000s, 2008s to 2012 era, if they're reading this in the archives. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. This drone is going around Afghanistan, and these guys are just sitting in Nevada. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, whatever. And, but then there's they find this teenage girl who just freaking electrocutes the shit out of the whole convoy. And from um, Afghanistan. From, from Afghanistan, Afghanistan it. it zaps them in Nevada. In Nevada. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I have bad flashbacks of Resident Evil 3 with this shot. Yeah. <laughs> well. I'm not. No, no. We're, we're going to move past that. Wait, the, okay. wait, do you mean the movie? or The, the movie. The okay. movie. I've seen the I, movie. Okay, I've never seen the movie. It's like, I like talking about like, don't Resident see Evil the 3 movie. Nemesis. If you like Resident <laughs> Evil, don't see the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so all right, Mitt Romney for some reason is here, but whatever. We 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 he, oh, tell me that's not just Mitt Romney, dude. He's Mitt Romney's not that large. We yes, well, Mitt yeah, Romney but, and John Cena. Mitt Romney, yeah. <laughs> he's John Cena. Mitt shit. Romney's a frail looking person compared to this. Guy. Compared to him, we'll continue. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, no more political commentary. There's not no political commentary. Just the episode look like between us. Okay. All right, so we we cut to uh, was it John Cena? You said John it looks Cena, like John yep. Cena. Let's call let's call him that for now. I I feel bad giving them these like nicknames, but he does look like a blonde John Cena. What do you want Very me to do much. about it? All right, so uh, this guy's name is Ray, and he's talking yeah. to uh, commanding officer, and he's like, "Oh, I quit. I'm not going on this." Whatever mission you're Next talking mission. about, yeah. sort of thing. Um, but he's like, you got to do it. Your your old war buddy has been captured, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, you gotta uh, go save him. Yeah, you gotta but, save him. He saved you. You would have still been a POW if it wasn't for this right, guy. Right, right. What he tells his wife in order to get him, get her to allow him to uh, go. Essentially, yeah. and he even gives her the cliche. Yeah. It's just my last one. My last one. One more mission. The last one, and yeah. I'm good. I'm done. I'm Every, out, baby. I'm which out is which is great for me. Like, right. I was like initially, I was thinking. It's a little bit cliche, but then I thought that's what they're going for, though. Right. And right. when we found out later, that's very much intentional. Right. Ah. So this this uh, so we, yes, that's all taking. Ill. Sorry, I saw the Harbinger three. Um, the ad. Yeah. Ad. It looks freaking ill, dude. We'll continue. <laughs> so we, we we cut to Afghanistan. Afghanistan. He's doing a night jump, mm-hmm. and he's parachuting out, and everything's really cool until boom. You no no you haven't. Boom. Boom. Yeah. However, have you seen Punisher Warzone? No. No. Okay. I decided not to watch that after I seen a piece of shit that was Punisher. Oh, just regular. no. Punisher, sidestep. Punisher Warzone, the director actually went to fans and asked them what needs to be in a quintessential Punisher movie. Hmm. Huh. And it is nothing but ridiculous. Think Dick Tracy, only super violent. That I can only describe it. There is a scene in there. Well, wasn't that, that PG thirteen? No, it's no, it was R. R. It's it was totally R. R. Okay. Yeah, where's one was R. That's why I didn't make them. There is. Oh, I think the first one. Was the first PG-13. one was PG thirteen. That's what okay. was the problem. There's this page, and then there's that one scene. And if you've seen it, you know exactly which one scene I'm talking about. I haven't seen it. And I should just show you guys the movie. You probably, after this. You probably should do a clip. <laughs> if you but but the, so that's awesome. So then he gets blown up to. To crap, and you're just like, oh, yeah. well, like, comics, well, comics that's over. A, oh, that was a quick comic. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Man, character but, dead. It, yeah, but if you've read the first page, you yeah. the very first one, you might know, okay, well, this will repair him. But yeah. I'm like, uh, that's a lot to repair. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, not sure no, I can Here's my that. only <laughs> biggest complaint about this. It's like, okay, so these guys, they located the body. And they bring it with. And they bring it back. Uh, Who does that? I would have left it, but I don't know. But the thing is, it's somewhat... In Pokemon, they kind of know that he is special and that they want that tech. Right. I think they've seen Iron Man one, <laughs> and they knew leaving anything. You can't leave nobody, nobody out there. Idea. Right. Yeah. Right. But so, I, yeah, you see the, the nanites go to work and they're yeah. rebuilding. We see a two page spread of just well, Skeletor it's, here. It's just, the first time I've actually seen a good montage in a comic book. Yeah. You get them all the time in movies. Yeah. But they don't really do them as well in comics because a lot of times it's a two page spread, much like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That just is, looks like a flashback. Yeah. What, what'll yeah. usually happen is they'll go all the way over here. Yep. And that always is very disorienting to yep. me because I, I tend to read books one page at a time like a, a human being. Right. So I'll read all this, I'll read the top three, and then I'll read whatever's down here. But 
it won't make sense to me because what they were supposed to do is read all the way right. to the top, then all the way the bottom. You see a lot well, in Bendis comics yes. more so. Some, than, of, yes. some of the DC That's comics had wordy. some. A lot of the new DC fifty two comics had it where they had two page spreads, yeah. but they were separated. About it took me a while, but then I got into it. Now, if these were, uh, if I think it, they could have taken a little bit better advantage here. I think the panels are a little too small. If there was some sort of thing with slanted panels going across the mm-hmm. top, mm-hmm. you probably would have read that more, more so. More fluidly. Um, I think I think the panels are a little too small, but I, I see what they're doing here. The Am main I, focus is uh, yeah. is the guy here, right. the body, the yeah. building, and how cool it looks. Yeah, well, really well, yeah, I, I get it love in there. that here. Like, there's all the gold right. that goes across his body. Right. I feel real bad for him. They blew his junk off, and they don't right. even bother. <laughs> right. Oh, well, they yeah. Do nothing with that. Because I was just yeah. about to say. Now, maybe Why is there nothing hanging down here? Well, also, they didn't well, well, there, well, there's two. There's two reasons. Of course, the first one is um, you got to be careful with male nudity in comics. Because for some reason, that will mess with people. Female nudity or near nudity, whatever. But that, unless right. it's, it's xenoscope, um, well, xenoscope doesn't even do it really. But whatever. Right. What I'm going to go, I'm going for is unless you're. Alan Moore, you can't get away with right. showing it. Right. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, so like, that's why it's it's dark here. The darkness, and you see this kind of go down a little bit. I choose to believe they just didn't rebuild it. I, I like to believe that they did. Can man, you imagine that'd be if those up. nanites got into a somebody else? Made yeah. a, a bloodshot baby? That would be awesome! Son of bloodshot? <laughs> Friggin' like... Let's say two years, not two, three, four years on the line, but like they want to get rid of him. They do a Savage Dragon, and his kid becomes the new right. main character. That was actually pretty oh, cool. That was awesome too. I like that. Speaking of which, yeah, now, we'll I'm, Sorry. now I'm thinking of Crank. Yeah, and I want <laughs> son. Of, uh, Melissa and I was talking about this before. They should make a third one, and they call it Son of Chelios. Yes, just stuff like that. Yeah, because there's not really all, so much you can do anymore. Mm-hmm. But he has. There is the. Uh, there is potentially a plot seed that was planted. Mm-hmm. Ha ha ha. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Out of that plot Damn it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so, so we got na- na- now he looks like Lobo, and he's <laughs> whooping people's asses because it's like now he doesn't even have to hide what he's doing. Right. right. And he's just tearing people like Punisher style, which is what you were promised in the cover. Well, <laughs> you the look cool at this dude. Is, like, he's a little Punisher. Looking yeah, start gunning yeah. gun people down, dog. They allude to different things. Oh yeah, that he can like get a chameleon, change, his, feel, change right. his appearance. Features, yeah. Which I didn't check it. I didn't figure this out at first. I figured this was just another guy, and, and they were just dude, overhearing yeah. it until you get to this page where and you, you see sort of him like morphing back. Yeah, morphing a little bit here, and just, which is cool. It reminded me of um, uh, what's that game that's really fun, but you start dying once you get like halfway through. Um, prototype. Yes. Prototype where that's one. Of, that's one of your abilities is you can eat people and take their form like the thing. It's actually very much the thing inspired. Mm-hmm. It's like, what if they took the thing, made it into a virus, <laughs> and made it into a combination zombie action flick? Only it's a game. Prototype <laughs> and Prototype 2 are a lot of fun. There's just certain spots where you start dying because there's too much shit on the screen. Whatever. We make so many references to other things with this. They'll be fun! All right, so... They have, okay. if, if they're watching this, they're on the internet. If they're on the internet, they have a search engine. If they really want to right, know, right. pause the thing, search it up. I know, but I'm trying to get to this comic. Is the we'll thing. do it eventually! So, so we have uh, 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 the guy well, here... He uh, sees his kid. He sees his kid. He's like, like, what, what the, the hell is shit? going on? But it's like a hologram or a hallucination, and he gets blasted because... Another reference. It's a trap. Oh god, that's crap. Enough trouble. And then he wakes up and he's got like all this stuff sort of like plugged into his head. Like yeah. some other reference I'm sure somebody would think of. It doesn't but. matter. But, 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 <laughs> but yeah. man. Or sorry. <laughs> but, but oh god. <laughs> okay, that was better than that. But, so. but yeah, but this is this is what made me um figure out why they took him in to begin with. Is they know he's got some special shit in him. Right. And they want to, you know, figure it out. And they also want to turn him against the US government. Yeah. Because as it turns out, he's a one man dollhouse. Like, they've been implanting all of these different, right. like, memories of full histories into him yep. to whatever they needed to do to get him, to, to, do get him to do whatever job it is. And this guy, he was one of the people yeah. that was working on it. And exactly. he's like, well, I'm going to... I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I got to cut you loose, man. Truth. Yeah. Because yeah, like, cause he's... Like, like, he seems a bit sinister, but you realize that what he's doing is setting him free. You know, because it's not right to be doing that to somebody. Now, what I loved about this is it has a purpose. Like, you see all these different... Ref, like you know, quick references, seeing like all these different families, different killers. Like, some of these even have There's a whole his family. War buddy that he was trying. Yeah, his to war save. buddy. He's got one where he's married to a black lady, a little baby. There's like you know the no, more war pictures. 
the same kid, a different woman, him and another war buddy. You know, man, he gets around. He gets around. Well, it's because he's like he's a one man dollhouse, <laughs> yeah. similar to Wolverine, but with a purpose. I very, very, very much got a Weapon X Wolverine yes. feel from all of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's the man that we have given so many false implants to. He doesn't even know what's going on. Right. Yep. And we can kind of make it up as we go because he really has no clue. Who but is? at the same time, I don't feel like it was a copy. No. There are so it... many Wolverine generic copies out yeah. there <laughs> yeah. that this one is almost a blatant yeah, weapon X. It, yeah, copy. <laughs> yeah, really. But you, as long as he doesn't have like the finger, the, the, the hand blades. Right, right. Yeah, well, well, the, the one, like the staple. Yeah, now. and one thing too, he's American rather than Canadian. Right, right. That right. is, a, that's a, which is there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well you, you wouldn't think it would be that big of a difference in the right. way that it plays out, but right. it really does. Yeah, yeah. Because, right. because just because, like you know, we're, we're, there's a commentary on the war on terror on top of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that uh, angle added in. Whereas with Wolverine, you don't really have yeah. that. You just have like, oh, it's general black ops, whatever the hell right. that means. <laughs> yeah. right. So you don't really have a connection, you know, an immediate connection to the Wolverine right. story right. in the same way. Like, like you have a connection because you like Wolverine. Yeah. You don't want him to suffer. Yeah. You want him to know his origin. But this guy is a combination of that, and you don't want him to be doing things that he may not agree with. Right. Right. But they're just implanting shit to make him do it. And you want him to get revenge. It's very much Jason Bourne like. Yes. You know, yeah. where it's like he wants to get revenge on the US government and you can't blame him. Right, right. You well, know? Jason Bourne yeah, is so just like, leave me alone. If you don't yeah. leave me alone, I'll leave fuck me alone. Shit I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is what they're doing too. I mean, yeah. And he, this guy's like, oh man, what was going on? All right, I'm coming, come, in, come pick me up. And they're yeah. like, oh yeah, we're totally going to pick you up. up. Kill him. Yeah, it's like, quickly, um, <laughs> yeah, just stay right here, man. We're going to pick you up quick. Shoot to kill. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They and they do. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Well, um, he, we saw him recover from worse, sort of. Well, right, yeah, I mean, his, but it's still horrific. That's, it is that's horrific. A, that's one of his ribs. Yeah, his ribs going flying, his <laughs> arm is up. I don't know where the rest of it is. It's like disintegrated. Yeah, that's his ear. <laughs> yeah, his ear, yeah, <laughs> like, flying over there. And the thing is, what I, um, in a way, like and are somewhat horrified by this is this is a lot closer to what those sorts of guns do to real people. Right. Right. Look at As that. A, the, the, yeah, big the, the big giant shot holes. holes. And the, the, the arms, both arms are up. Yeah. Right. Like, I've never, of course, seen it in person, thank God, but just from people that I know who have, they're like, okay, this, the reason we call this a saw, mm -hmm. it is the acronym for this weapon. The problem is it also will cut through a person like a saw. Like, you see that, how quickly the bullets go through. Right. It just takes you apart. Like, um, there's also part in a Ter Terminator 2 mm. that infuriates a lot of people because he has this rail gun. He's shooting all the cops in the knees. But it's like, okay, that <laughs> gun would destroy them utterly. Mm -hmm. Like, even if he misses. <laughs> he wasn't shooting them in the knees. He was just shooting at the cars. He shot them in the knees. Are you sure? He was very, as he was very similar. He was very, um, I'll have to this, watch. This is the part where he's like, I mean, I won't anyway. have to complain, but I will have to watch that. It's okay. Out. Yeah. But, but the thing, but the thing is like, even if you miss with some of those guns, the air pressure will take your arm off. Yeah. That the, those shits are no joke. So yeah. it's like something like that. That's a little closer to what should uh, realistically be happening. Yeah. Well some, of that's, some of that's not growing back. No. No. Yeah. Well, 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 who knows? No, we, we, don't, we don't know what his nanites are completely capable of because he was oddly enough intact Except for John. Oh, right. But I know that rib, blown up. ribs don't grow back. But that's kind of the it's thing that, that they explain book. here. If TF2 has taught me anything, ribs don't grow back. TF2 is... <laughs> oh, it's God, reference that. to the okay. medic video. Yeah, yeah. They're talking ribs about... Ribs grow back. No, they don't. No. Okay. <laughs> so, but this is what I like about it. It's kind yeah. of reference to what can grow back. Well, we have to Obviously assume everything. Not as yeah. Because it even <laughs> ends with, you know, hey... We've done it to him hundreds of times before. Yeah, I mean, the right. first time they so, had to shoot him down. <laughs> right. Right. It's, it's kind of a reoccurring thing that these guys keep doing to him. Man. Yeah. So, as a number one. Awesome. I loved it. So, no. Succeeds. Does it succeed or fail? Oh, sorry. Succeeds. It, it succeeds. Succeeds. I, I, I have to agree. I think this succeeds as well. Um, I, that I, it, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't fail at all. Uh, it doesn't really uh, met at all either for me, and I was kind of expecting that to happen with the Valiant comics for me. But so far, so far, I've been yeah. pretty pleased by these. So, Bloodshot number one uh, from Valiant Comics. Right?